In this video, I'd like to go over some examples here of calculating the mean, the median, and the mode. We are told that in 2007, the average length of stay for all patients 18 years and younger in short stay hospitals was 4.7 days. It looks like that we have a random sample here of patients 18 years and younger, and it's from a particular hospital, and this is the results that we got. So on the left-hand column, we are given the patient's number, almost like an account number, and on the right side, that is the length of stay for that patient. So before we calculate the mean, the median, and the mode, we want to make sure that we read the problem here and make sure that it's not already given to us. So if you look back up here, it says that the average length of stay for all patients in short stay hospitals was 4.7. So that's the average or the mean length. This right here, this 4.7, this is dealing with a population. So when we talk about the population mean, we use the mu. This is the Greek symbol, Greek letter, mu. And this is the population mean. What we want to look at here is the sample mean. We have a sample here to the right, and we want to calculate the mean, the median, and the mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the mean. But I'm not looking for 4.7. I'm not talking about the population mean. I'm talking about the sample mean. And the sample mean is not going to be, we're not going to use the letter mu, we're going to use x bar. x with a bar represents the sample mean. And to calculate the sample mean, we're going to use these Greek symbols here. We're going to add up all the possible x values, all of the observations, add all the observations up, and divide by the total number of observations. Now, if we look here to the right, we're looking for the average length of stay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum all of these values here, 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8. I'm going to sum all these values, and I'm going to divide by the total. So if I count through here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I see here that my denominator is going to be 10. That's the total number of values. Up top, I'm going to sum all of these. So in your calculator, you're going to add 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 all the way down. So if you just give me one moment here, I'm going to calculate that. 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 2, 3, 3, 1, 7, 6. I got, after summing this entire column, I got the sum to equal 46. So if I take 46 and divide that by 10, I'm going to get my sample mean or my sample average, which is 4.6. So my sample mean x bar is going to be equal to 4.6 days. And that is the sample mean, not the population mean, but the sample mean. Now before I move on to calculate the median and the mode, what I'd first like to mention here is looking at this left-hand column patient number. Why would it not make sense to add up all of these and divide by 10? Why is it not practical to know the average patient number? If you think about it, this is a different type of data. In one of our previous modules, we talked about the various types of data. And this is categorical. This is just categorizing the patients. It's not telling us anything about them. It's not saying 31 something or 45 uh, something else. It's not actually counting or measuring something about the patient. It's just describing them and categorizing them. And as we've seen, it doesn't really make sense to take this data here and find the mean. We could, but it's not going to be a practical value for us to know. So now I'd like to move on and calculate the median. The median value is also known as the middle value. If this one's to write for me. There we go. This is the value in the middle. So in order to know the middle value, we need to order these. So what I'm going to do here to calculate the median is I'm going to quickly order them. Looking over there, I see I have a 1, a 2, I have two threes, so I'll write those down. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to cross these off. A 1, a 2, I have two threes. I have a 4 and a 5, so I'll write that. A 4 and a 5. Do I have any sixes? It looks like I have one six and two sevens. So one six, two sevens, and finally one eight. So now I'm going to go back and just make sure that I still have those ten values. 
So if I count these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. I have 10 values. Now what I want to do is to find the middle. So what I'm going to do is to go over, kind of make markings. So 1 and 8 are on the ends. 2 and 7 are 1 in. And I'm just going to keep marking 1 in from each side until I get to the middle. Well, it looks like 4 and 5 are both considered the middle. Now, if we had an odd number of terms, if we had 11 observations instead of 10, we would have exactly one number in the middle. But when you have an even number of observations, you're going to have two numbers in the middle. So to find the median, you're going to take the two middle numbers and just average those out. So we're going to take 4 plus 5, divide it by 2. We're going to find the average of 4 and 5, which in this case is 4.5. So our mean is 4.6 days. Our median is 4.5. And now to find the mode, the mode is going to be the value that occurs the most. So if we look here, it looks like we have 3 occurring twice and 7 occurring twice. So it turns out, let me actually, before we move that, let me make sure we label this. This is our median. This doesn't have any special sign. But the mode, as I just was saying, the mode it looks like 3 occurs twice and 7 occurs twice. That's okay. You can have two numbers that occur twice. This is called bimodal. B-I-M-O-D-A-L. This is telling us if we have bimodal data, it's telling us that we have two modes. Two values that occur more than every other value or every other observation. Bi is the prefix for two. Bicycle, two wheels. So we have bimodal. If every single value occurred twice, so let's say one occurred twice, there were two twos, two threes. If everything occurred the same amount, then we would have no mode because they would all occur the same. If only one of them, let's say seven had five sevens, and that occurred the most, then that would just be the unimodal. That would just be one mode. While we're looking at this data, I want to see and show you how we can calculate the mean, the median, and the mode using StatCrunch. So as, I, as you can see here, I've gone ahead and put in the patient number and the length of stay right into StatCrunch. And what you can do to calculate this is to go into the Stat menu. And what we are calculating are summary statistics. And we are calculating summary statistics for columns. We want to look at a particular column, and that column in particular is the length of stay. And we're not going to group by anything. We're just looking at the length of stay. And what statistics do we want to calculate? Remember, if we want to select multiple options here, we should click and to hold, uh, hold down Command and click on other options. So let's calculate N, which is the number of observations, mean, we're not quite at variance, standard deviation, standard error. We're not quite there yet, but we can calculate the median. So again, holding down Command. I'm also going to come down here, and I'm going to look at mode. We're not getting in percentiles or any other statistics here. And what I want to do is, once I have the column I want calculated for and the specific statistics I want calculated, I'm going to hit Compute. This is... These, these are the solutions that I get. The summary statistics. If you were to put this into a quiz, if I say you are okay to use StatCrunch to make these calculations, you would just select this, copy and paste it. So copying it, hit Command C or Control C, Control V or Command C, Command V for a copy paste, or you could right click. Notice here we still have the same mean, the same median. One thing I want to mention here is for StatCrunch to say there is no unique mode. What they're saying is there is not one value that appears the most. They don't, and it appears that they're not going to call a data set bimodal, where we are okay with saying that. So what I would like to show you is how else could we calculate the mode? Remember that the mode is the frequencies. So if I want to look at the frequency of values, we know that frequencies can be illustrated using a histogram. Frequency is a numerical var variable or data. So let's create a histogram for length of stay and hit compute. Actually, yeah, let's just hit compute. 
and it looks like the two columns that appear the most here are this column and this column. They appear, they both appear of a frequency of two. If I click on them, they'll highlight them in my data here, sevens and threes, so those appear the most. So histograms, knowing that they show frequencies, we can use that to help us discover the mode of a data set if there are more than one or, or if it's bimodal as this data is.